skip to content of an Agostini. Envision Jay-Z and Beyoncé are taking us to church in a new teaser for Jay's track, Family Feud. The Brooklyn Bread rapper shared the clip via Tidal's Twitter account on Thursday, announcing the visual's full drop on Friday. In the clip, Jay-Z walks his five-year-old daughter, Blue Ivy, down a church aisle while a fiercely pontiff-like bay supervises from the altar. The couple also appears to sit down in a confessional booth. Those visuals are spliced together with a hot and heavy love-making session that ends with a woman stabbing her lover in the back. Ale Berry Evan Agostini, Associated Press The stars are coming out for the 75th Annual Golden Globe Awards next month. The Hollywood Foreign Press ASSN, which recognizes achievements in film and television at the Boozy Awards show, announced the first batch of presenters on Thursday, among them are past winners and nominees. Naturally, several hail from this year's crop of contenders. Indumora's Angel competes in the 1987 ballroom category Royalty Realness in a scene from the pilot of Pose, Jojo Wilden FX. FX is adding a new Ryan Murphy show to its roster, announcing Wednesday a series order for Pose, a dance musical drama centered around ball culture in 1980s New York. Pose will serve as a snapshot into the changing tides of the city, juxtaposing the rise of Trump-era luxury with the downtown social scene. Along with being a dance musical and an affirming look at American life in the 1980s, I'm so proud that Pose and FX has made history right from the beginning by featuring the most trans-series regular actors ever in an American television production, Murphy said in a statement. Al Sieb, Los Angeles Times, my generation was kind of protected. Think, okay, the sky's the limit, but then you come to the realization that not everything is going to happen in my generation and you realize that it is an ongoing struggle. You've got to continue to fight the fight where you can fight it. Marcus Yam, Los Angeles Times, Solange Knowles revealed Wednesday that she's been struggling with an autonomic disorder that prompted her to pull out of an upcoming New Year's Eve performance. The past five months I have been quietly treating and working through an autonomic disorder. It's been a journey that hasn't been easy on me, she wrote on Instagram. The artist did not share what type of autonomic disorder she was diagnosed with, but the term refers to a breakdown of the autonomic nervous system, which controls involuntary bodily functions. Anna Graham Hunter, from left, Corey Thomas and Catherine Rossetta are among Dustin Hoffman's accusers. Associated Press Seven women who have accused actor Dustin Hoffman of sexual misconduct published an open letter Wednesday thanking John Oliver for his attempt to question the actor about the matter during an early December film panel addressed to Oliver. The letter was first published on the Twitter feed of Anna Graham Hunter who wrote a guest column for The Hollywood Reporter alleging that Hoffman sexually harassed her while she was working as a production assistant on Death of a Salesman in 1985. Hunter was 17 at the time. While the questions you asked may not have led to the constructive conversation you hoped for, the fact that you asked them at all is what matters most, the letter read, adding that while many men listen to and believe women's stories about sexual harassment, fewer men are willing to call out bad behavior. John Oliver, Eric Liebwitz, HBO, no one's ever really gone. That's what Mark Hamill tweeted Wednesday on the first anniversary of Carrie Fisher's death, echoing a line Luke Skywalker says to Leia Organa in Star Wars, The Last Jedi, an illustration of Fisher as St. Carrie, holding her dog Gary with one hand and flipping the bird with the other, anchored a trio of pictures he included in the tweet, including pics of himself and Fisher at the beginning of their Star Wars careers together and at the end, Paul Riser, left, and Helen Hunt starred in Mad.
About You, Michael Ty, NBC, another classic sitcom might be returning just a week after rumors surfaced that NBC is eyeing a return to The Office. TV Lion reported Tuesday that Sony is in talks to reboot the 1990s comedy stylings of former NBC must-see TV, Fair, Mad About You. The sitcom, which centered around the marriage of Paul Buckman, Paul Reiser, and Jamie Buckman, Helen Hunt, originally debuted in 1992 and wrapped in 1999. Mel Melcon, Los Angeles Times, What I Want to Do is Spread Manga and Anime even further in the mainstream, but in the right way. There's some adaptations from the past, I won't name any names, where it kind of lost its way. When you're making an adaptation, you have to make content for the fans, otherwise you'll get something that won't even be accepted by the mainstream. John Oliver, Left, and Dustin Hoffman. Charles Sykes, Associated Press, Left, Evan Agostini, InVision, Associated Press, Right, John Oliver wanted his sexual misconduct conversation with Dustin Hoffman to be something constructive. Alas, it wound up being something that simply made him feel sad, I knew the stories were out there. I knew that there were a few more coming, the last week tonight host said on Britain's The Russell Howard Hour just before the holiday. So it felt unavoidable that we had to have a discussion about it. Hoffman and Oliver clashed in early December at an anniversary screening of Hoffman's film To Wag the Dog. Hoffman was defensive during a panel discussion Oliver moderated, denying he had done anything wrong and saying he had been found guilty simply because he'd been accused.